Just under a year ago, me and my brothers went on a trip to southern Italy. I filmed everything, but never edited the footage. Well, better late than never, they say, right? These videos show off everything we enjoyed that Naples and the Amalfi Coast had to offer. Enjoy. We are back at it again, exploring outside. We had a big line today after a um, busy day in and out of all the water and stuff in that spa, because even though spas are relaxing and everything, they're still incredibly tiring in and out of water constantly, and it was a lot of traveling yesterday, hour and a half ferry. Well, anyway, so today we are off exploring after a lazy morning and a good sleep. We are headed off now to the catacombs, which is um, well preserved, it was dug out not too long ago um, and we're thinking it'll be cooler down there and explore um, it's one of the best well preserved catacombs in Napoli apparently so we're headed there, forgot what it's called so now we're on a mission to hydrate because it's hot got myself some got myself some pear juice, I've never had pear juice ever am I out of focus? I think I've just been out of focus that entire time sorry about that well, what are you so a bit, bit of a decline on the subscribers After a quick taxi ride, we arrived at the San Gennaro Catacombs. Unfortunately, because they have to do hourly tours, and we had to kill some time in a lovely park we found nearby. So, a tour of the catacombs. Um, don't know if I'm allowed to fill in the catacombs yet, so we will see. I also don't have a flash for my um, video, just for the um, photos. But yeah, we're going on a little little stroll of this hillside. Now there's a really important thing that goes on and why the San Gennaro catacombs are quite interesting and it's because there's this miracle about San Gennaro's blood and the day of the blood miracle is an important feast day for Naples and the people who celebrate it. According to the legend, a woman collected and kept some of the martyr's blood in an ampule after he died. The skeleton was placed to rest in the catacomb together in the hole you see here with the ampule. Now the miracle is that the blood liquefies, so the blood goes from a solid state in its ampule to a liquid state every single year. You don't want to buy nothing. I want to buy a souvenir. Fine. The blog footage is the souvenir. My blog is your souvenir, Anthony. You got your katsu fix. I love a kiddo. So we finished our tour of the catacombs. Very, very interesting. Me and Seb went to some catacombs in Rome. Can't remember for the life of me any of it, just that it was small and cool like it was in there. She was a very good tour guide though, explaining lots of things about San G was it San Gionardo? San Gennaro. San Gennaro. He was buried there, and then he was stolen, and then he was buried there, and then he was stolen. Um, but I'll, you'll have heard all about that already from the footage from before. Now we're walking through supposedly a rougher area of Napoli. The catacombs um, are as she said. in the ghetto district. They're trying to get rid of that at the catacombs by uh, doing tours which is injecting money into the community because it gives free music lessons, free theatre lessons, free boxing lessons. By paying to go to the catacombs, we are helping the community. Um, what's pizza frita, Anthony? Piazza yeah, Plebiscito for pizza frita. And what's pizza frita, Anthony? Pizza frita is basically deep fried pizza. Deep fried pizza? Deep fried slice of pizza? Oh, stop punking us. For a little snack and a little ferveta. A bila. Snack. After chomping down on the deep fried pizza, which um, left a pretty heavy feeling in your stomach, we headed back to the same old bar we were at the previous day. So sink some ice cold beers. Oh, what's the plan from now, Ant? Sebastian? No. Sorry. What's the plan now? Cut! <laughs> what's the plan? Uh, the plan now is uh, ditch Anthony and get some beverages. 
and uh, yeah, just stay drinking, you know? Good night out. So, so Anthony's a bit sleepy. Why isn't it focused on me? It is. Ant it? Anthony's a bit sleepy, we're not sleepy. And we want to go have a few bevs because we slept in quite a bit today. But we're probably not going to do that. We're probably going to end up putting Anthony to sleep and then creeping out. That's not a bad idea, actually. Not a bad idea. For some reason, we then decided to try and market a campaign for how models should look when they're eating gelato. I think I think we did quite a good job. This is what happens when you go to Spain or Italy in the August season, Mediterranean. When a family run restaurant slash bars are shut. This one euro bar drink for Aperol Spritz and also beer and wine is closed. Anthony, how do you feel about walking half an hour to a bar that's shut? I told you. Pretty nice, eh? What do you, how do you feel? And after quite a long, tiring day exploring the catacombs and some areas of Napoli, and the failure of trying to get into multiple bars that were shut down due to people taking their holidays in August, we decided to call it quits and admit defeat and head back to our Airbnb. That sums up Anthony in one shot.